Hey, how we doing? Um, normally we have a parents meeting at the beginning of the year, but but uh, with everything and trying to pull everything together, or whatever here with uh, the different schedules and and uh, getting everybody here, I decided to go ahead and try it this route. I'll send you out a video here, and and you can view this and the information. We'll put out as much as we can. We'll share the documents, and then if you have any questions, you can you can get a hold of myself uh, via email or text me or just call me and uh, I'll try to answer any questions. Other thing, if it's something that's pretty standard that we've done in the past, you can probably get a hold of other parents that you're comfortable talking to and they can maybe walk you through at least what they've done and how it works. Um, so so uh, we've, we've uh, worked really hard this year to pull a schedule together for the girls and the guys and, and you know, last year was a unique unique year with COVID and so we had to make quite a few adjustments this year I think will be a little a little more back to what it was previously and hopefully get everything in um, as everybody knows we're still dealing a little bit with COVID and, and have had some kids gone um, from school and from practice and what have you so um, all I ask is that you keep keep using the safety protocol and trying to be clean and and uh, we're, we'll get on kids here to wash hands and make sure they're showering at school before they leave and uh, so forth and so on and try to eliminate some of that. Um, uh, vaccines, the, the deal, I don't really want to get into that too much. I'm just going to tell you with the way the county health is, um, if somebody in your house gets COVID, um, they are possibly going to make um, people in that household quarantine. If they have the vaccine and no symptoms, they will not make them quarantine. Um, so you handle that however you see fit for your family and, and how you want to do things. But uh, I'm just throwing that out there that um, um, the vaccine does uh, give you maybe some certain measures where you may not have to sit out as long or be gone without symptoms or, or without uh, a positive test. So. Um, Schedule wise, like I said, we go back and, and we'll share that with you. Um, you know, we, we've got a lot of different moving pieces this year, which brings us a few challenges. Um, I've got uh, a case where we've got so many kids out, even with just our varsity this year, that we'll probably be taking two buses to a lot of our regular, regular, uh, just the boys events. Um, time we add in the managers, uh, cheerleaders and, and uh, coaches. Um, we kind of hit the bus limit. I don't think we want to ride three to a seat, so uh, we're, we're probably going to go two buses to most events. Um, if we're taking the girls with us, we're still definitely taking two buses. And if it's a JV girl event, we're taking two buses. Um, with 20 girls out, unless, unless numbers change sometime between now and the end of the year, with 20 girls out, um, and with what we have for a JV, we're still well over 50 kids. So uh, we'll We'll manage that as, we, as the season goes on. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this portion of the video and then we'll, we'll start sharing some documentation with you um, in the next part of this video. Um, so I, I just before I go, I want to say that, you know, we, we lift three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, kids are expected to be here for lifting. They've been told that. Um, you know, when we have a Saturday practice, they're expected to be here. They've been told that. Um, so probably things that would allow them to be gone would be, uh, I, I allow for if, if you're going to go on a family um, holiday where you're, you're Christmas or Thanksgiving here and, and family's leaving, um, I'm okay as long as it's a family thing. Um, I like to hear from parents more so than I do the kids um, to let me know that you're going to be gone and how long you're going to be gone for. Most kids are pretty good, but not every kid is always, uh, I don't want to say uh, necessarily they don't mind missing a practice maybe here or there, depending on the kids. So um, I'd like to know ahead of time uh, whether they're going to be gone. And then we'd like them here at 6 in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays for, for uh, pictures. Uh, body fat for us, we have to do a body fat test in wrestling um, to make sure that kids are going to a safe weight. Um, that test for us, we do the day before the first meet. So the Wednesday after Thanksgiving, uh, the day before our first meet <clears throat> would be our body fat test. So um, uh, 
realistically at that point, kids need to be within uh, 0.9 of the weight class they're going to the next day. So if you have any questions about that, we'll, I can get into more details on that, but um, um, that's kind of kind of how we, uh, we do that. So we don't interfere with them during football season or whatever else, we push it to the end instead of too early. So sounds good. I'm gonna go through this. Uh, I'll start with uh, the season here. We'll open this document up. Um, as you can see, early in the year, uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so early in the year here, we go to Northwood, Russell of the Three Norse. Um, a lot of these duels for you girl parents understand that uh, if they don't have girls at at those locations, we we won't take girls. If they have girls, we'll find out what weights they have girls and, and take the girls that will have an opportunity to compete against the girls that the other teams do have. Um, so that's that first Thursday night. We go to Northwood. Um, the following day, we go to uh, Decorah with the uh, JV and the girls after school. Um, so two buses that go to Decorah. During the day that day, um, we actually weigh in at noon this year at Independence. So we'll leave Osage High School at 10 a.m., weigh in at noon, and start wrestling at 2 um, in Indy. So uh, that's a little bit of a change. Uh, that eats up the whole day. We stay that night uh, for the Independence meet. Decorah will come home. Um, Independence will stay um, in uh, Waterloo. And... Uh, and go back and wrestle again all day Saturday in Independence. So, um, following week, uh, Waverly on that Monday night, I think it's a Monday night, um, the 7th. Um, and uh, so they'll wrestle, uh, uh, I guess that's a Tuesday. JV, girl, JV and girls will go to Waverly. Um, and as you can see, we have parents assigned to meals, and I'll explain that here once we walk through the schedule. Um, Quad at uh, West Hancock, Forest City, Newman at Newman on that Thursday. Um, and then on this weekend, gets a little, little, it's a little different the, the following week. Varsity will go to South Wind on, on that Saturday. Um, I don't anticipate taking any extra kids there. We did last year, but it was a little unique, so we'll see what happens. We are sending a varsity um, a team to the varsity tournament at AP on that Saturday. And now the girls will wrestle that Saturday as well at AP. So the girls and our first string JV kids will go wrestle in the varsity tournament at Appleton Parkersburg. Um, still a pretty salty tournament uh, for those kids to compete in. So maybe some of those kids that uh, don't make our starting lineup get a chance to get tested that weekend a little bit. Um, JJV, which is anybody that's not first string JV, would go to AP on Friday night. So Friday night is the the uh, third string JV and 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 below, and then um, Saturday would be that first string JV team plus plus uh, the girls. Um, so the uh, next event we have that whole next week off. Basically, we go Friday. We wrestle um, at uh, Young Arena in Waterloo for our varsity, and they will wrestle. Uh, um, Friday and Saturday, three duels each day. We don't have an idea what time yet until um, we get assigned. I would assume on Saturday will be an afternoon. Um, that's kind of a given, provided we win first round, which I would hope we do. Um, so we should be a three o'clock start, two o'clock weigh in on Saturday. Friday still up in the air. And then we get a little closer to Christmas. Um, we, uh, I think we're going to go to Riceville JV on that Monday. Um, that'll just be JV. I don't believe girls are part of that. And then um, we would have uh, that Tuesday, I'm sorry, that Thursday. No, that Tuesday, um, we wrestle a varsity quad uh, at West Fork uh, for our conference. So, and then we're off Christmas break. So practices for Christmas break. Um, I'll, I'll get that ironed out. Um, usually I don't come back till about the 28th or 29th. Um, so they'll be off from about the 22nd. We might, uh, if we have school on the 22nd, I believe we do. Um, we would practice on uh, probably the 22nd unless we don't have school on the 23rd. 
um, but we would be off then, and then you would come back probably about the 28th of December and uh, kick it off and get back at it. Um, we have a home JV girls meet, JV and girls meet on January 3rd, which is a Monday, and then we're home again the next day with Decora here um, with girls and, uh, and uh, all of our kids. So first home meets on January 4th. January 6th, um, we go to Belmont. So we wrestle Tuesday, Thursday that week. Uh, and then on January 8th, um, which we'll leave the night before, we'll leave on Friday night for the varsity guys. We'll go to Winterset JV. We'll leave early the next morning and go to Ogden. Um, so pretty good trip. That's JV and girls to Ogden, as you can see. Um, and then on the 10th, Girls and JV will go to Cedar Falls, so getting a lot of matches in, in a short window of time there. It'll be a big week for, for everybody there. Uh, the 11th um, is varsity only, and it's at New Hampton. So uh, that's went back and forth. It was at Union originally and then and now. So it's only going to be varsity, no JV. Um, we're all sending our JV and our girls to, to uh, Cedar Falls on Monday night. And, uh, and then just taking varsity and having a quad, varsity quad at New Hampton on that Tuesday. And then we go again Thursday, Rockford. And uh, then we're home, Osage Duels, which on that Saturday with JV going to Independence, JV and girls going to Independence, which is a large tournament if you've been there. Um, so uh, Osage Duels will have 10 teams this year. Um, if you've looked on the Facebook page, I think I posted it here this summer, teams that we added. I think we uh, we lost New Hampton and Southeast Polk, but we picked up Lewis Central, Winterset, Davenport Assumption, and Casson will be back, will be the teams added. So uh, still pretty stiff, 10-team dual tournament. Should be fun, uh, some fun competition. Um, and then we wrestle at Cresco on the 18th. And then the 21st and 22nd is Girl State. And uh, as of right now on the 18th, I think we plan on our girls wrestling at Crestwood, but that could change um, with Girl State being that close. We, we, we may, or they may choose to sit that out. That was discussed, so we'll see what happens there. Um, and then a New Hampton JV meet on the 24th, which is a Monday as well. And then on the 25th is our meet with Charles City. Has got moved to that Tuesday. It'll be a home meet. It'll be senior night against Charles City on the 25th. And then uh, conference tournament, as it stands right now, is in St. Ansgar. We'll see how that goes um, on the 29th. Um, and then we're off until sectionals, which is February 5th. So um, anyway, we'll go there, and then we, we hit the uh, – Sectionals is at home, and regional duels should be at home, so should pick up both of those. If you've looked recently at the Facebook page, you can see who we have for sectionals. So um, anyway, here we go. So we're going to switch documents here. Okay. That one? All right. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to go to, I don't know, I think there's a girls' season schedule. It kind of we broke it down a little bit, made it a little easier for the girl parents to look at. There will be some things we'll look at with this. Um so kind of the things I just walked through, not much different. We just kind of condensed it, made it a little easier to read for the girls. Um, so the meals, and you'd seen that you were assigned meals on the side there, and we'll, those are pretty finalized. Um, you're not necessarily responsible uh, to go to those meets or whatever else, but you're responsible with those people that are on that list, come up with the food and at least get it on the bus or figure out how you're gonna get it there. Um, if you wanna trade with somebody, I think you can do that. I think you're just gonna to need to talk to somebody. Um, they're kind of put out to where, if you look at the numbers, we tried to be as fair as we could possibly be. Um, some people might be assigned more meats, but the reality is if you're assigned more meats, um, that might be because there's you're feeding fewer people per meat. Um, that's what, kind of what we look at. So that's where we're at with that. So, but for the parent meals, um, We'll see here so you can see off to the all the way to the right um, you can see the meal time and we'll we'll plug those in as we get 
keep doing on the shared document that we send out. I know not all of you can get the shared document, so I, I do copy and paste and send it, but one of the things that's an uh, issue with that is if we update or change something, sometimes it's tough for people to see those updates and changes. So, um, But we, we do have a number to feed count here. Um, you can see how many how many you're feeding. If something doesn't look right, please please get in touch with me or Tori Muller, and uh, we can kind of look at uh, if we screwed something up. Um, we can kind of look at that and see see what we want to do or what we want to change. Um, we're willing to be flexible, um, but we want everybody to pitch in and help out. So what this means is you'll you'll uh, see a see a uh, um, you'll see a list of foods that you can bring in between you and uh, you and the people on the list, or you you bring whatever that is. And the nice thing is, is you may only provide food once or twice during the season. And by doing so, then your child gets fed the other 15 or 14 or 12 meats of the year. So um, just as a note, that's kind of kind of will uh, allow them to eat a decent meal after weigh-ins and, and know that they're getting fed and, and got something good in their belly and they're ready to compete, um, which is what we're what we're after. So uh, um, that's kind of that document as we go through it. Um, let's see if this is, that's that one. Here's the options for meals. And we'll send this out too. So I think Tori and Jen worked on this and, and option for meals. And we'll do a few changes from, from last year to this year. So uh, most of our duels, if it's a duel, it's a one hour weigh in. If it's a tournament, it's a two hour weigh in. So. If the start time on a Saturday tournament's at 10, that means we weigh in at 8. We need to have food ready after the kids get off the scale and uh, ready for them to go eat. Um, we do try to set up some of those tournaments in different places. They'll give us spaces, or, or if you take foods, um, take any of these. You, you can cook in some of them. Some of them you can't. Please check with me uh, um, if you're not sure or if you're trying to set up something where you're actually cooking. Um, we might have to check with the school and make sure that... Uh, that they're good with that. Most of them are. There are a few that, that don't allow us to cook there. Um, so we have to either bring things that uh, we don't have to cook or we're cook somewhere else and we bring them in. So, um, but you can see the different stuff here on this list. Um, again, if you got questions, uh, feel free to get a hold of some of the uh, uh, Seasoned parents that have been doing it for a while, they can help you out. They can give you maybe some suggestions, uh, some hints, and, and if you got any questions on how to get the food to us or on the bus or whatever else, if you're not going, um, or if you want to trade, we ask that you at least let us know that um, you're trading so we can swap out the names on the list so that we don't miss, miss food. It, we have had issues where Parents didn't get the list or didn't realize they were on the list, and then we didn't have food at weigh-ins, and that's that's uh, gets pretty tough when you're in a big duel and all of a sudden the kids don't have any food there and they were expecting to eat. So um, we want to try to try to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, so um, so there's your there's your food. Um, I try to for practices. Uh, you know, we've been going till. 5.30 or so here lately. Um, we may have some days where we go till 6. We go a little longer. Um, but uh, as we get into things, we try to get it, keep it shorter later in the season. So 5.15, 5 o'clock, whatever else. But um, uh, that's, that's usually practice lengths. Tire. I expect kids to shower here at school after every practice. Um, they need a shower. So that's just an obvious one. Um, no exceptions. Um, they'll find that if they don't shower at some point in time, they probably will guarantee themselves a, some type of skin infection. And uh, it's not fun. Um, it's not fun to spread it around to others either. So we, we want them to shower just for good hygiene. There's showers. There's privacy in the showers. They're all cordoned off. So um, we expect them to shower here and, and, and be clean. Um, both in the morning after a workout and after they're on the mats. So um, there's soap in the dispensers and they can bring their own soap if they want to. Towels, um, we went to not handing out towels um, last year with COVID. We're gonna stick with that this year. I do have some towels that we can use if, 
necessary, but um, preferably I'd like them to bring their own at this point and bring them home and and uh, whatever. So if a kid forgets a towel, we'll, we can sometimes get them one, but um, we won't have enough for everybody, obviously, and we won't be able to do that. Uh, if they got braces, they need a full-fledged mouth guard. Um, so that's uh, it's kind of a given. They got to they got to be able to cover it up, and they can't forget them. Um, sign in uh, after meets. Um, we have so many kids this year that we need to make sure that we are uh, able to keep track of who's going to be on the bus going home and who's not. So make sure that you see a coach and that you sign your kid out. It can't be just a kid telling a coach you're going with a parent. We want to make sure they're where they're supposed to be and they get home safe. Um, so that kind of goes in the morning. We talk about driving and safe. Um, you know, when they're coming in for lift in the morning, we're, we're keeping attendance. And so I'm usually calling kids when they don't show up, not just to get them here, but also to make sure they're not in a ditch somewhere, especially if they're, they live in the country. Um, you know, we're going to, we're going to be checking on them every chance we get. Um, so, um, weight expectations. Um, if a kid chooses to go weight, we expect them to be at that weight. I do not make anybody cut weight or manage weight or whatever else. Um, obviously we would like to, kids to be at their optimal weight class that um, allows them to be at their most fit, uh, you know, healthiest weight. Uh, that may take time over the course of the season to get to that point, but I'm not going to tell a kid they got to go down to a next weight. That's at the end of the day, it's really up to them and you, and uh, they're the ones that have to do it. Um, but if they're, they're eating right and doing things right, they, they will tend to uh, lean out, which is really what's best for them at the end of the day. Um, some of the things I talk to them about in here is, uh, for example, that I don't want to see, I don't want to see the, the energy drinks and the Red Bulls, the whatever else, I shouldn't see those, they're not healthy for them. Um, you don't want to see soda and pop, they can have a little pop on weekend, whatever else, if that's their deal, but the reality is we're, we're trying to make them make healthy choices and, uh, be the best version of themselves and the most competitive that they can be. So um, that would be our goal. But then again, like I said, if they're going to pick a weight, I don't care whether they're JV or varsity, third string, fourth string, fifth string, or the number one guy, if, if they pick a weight, we're trying to keep them um, disciplined and the fact that they need to follow through with, with what they're doing and, and what they say set out to do and that they make that weight. Um, and, and, uh, we get it done. So COVID stuff, um, right now the gyms are open. Obviously everybody's getting to go to meets unlike last year. Um, so from that standpoint, we're good. We're disinfecting. I would say if your kid is ill, they need to stay home. Um, that's probably the best way we can keep from spreading it. If they don't feel well to, uh, to stay home and, and, uh, you know, if, need be get tested whatever else but the, the goal here is to, to keep everybody healthy and and make sure that we're all wrestling at the end of the year and we limit those effects and impacts that we have within our team um, you know it's no different than a skin infection or anything else um, we start getting that and start knocking guys and guys are sitting out we we uh, really limit ourselves on what we could do on the season so uh, wrestle offs um, we got a lot of kids this year so a, to wrestle off, you have to show up for practice on a regular basis. Um, I've got a few kids already this year that have been hit or miss on practice, and, and they're not here. So if you're not here, you're not going to get a chance to wrestle off. Um, um, so just the way it is. So and, and it's, you know, it's the difference between being sick and not showing up, not getting here for lifts in the morning, not being here. Um, you're just not going to have that opportunity. Um, that's part of the deal. So... Um, need to be here, but we'll wrestle off. Uh, you know, it's a one win. You, you win until we get down to the last two guys. When we get down to the last two guys, it's best two out of three. Um, when you have your starter, your starter has that spot in order to get beat out. Um, he uh, <clears throat> he would have to lose two in a row um, as we get into the year when we have a week of wrestle offs again. We'll probably only have wrestle offs probably three times, three or four times during the season. Um, at the most, you know, we've got a full lineup now. Kids kind of slide where they want to go or where they think they can find a spot. And uh, we'll do those wrestle-offs when they're necessary. And uh, 
again, and kids have to deserve them, you know, don't just get them. So, hey, you got to be winning on JV um, if, you know, number one. And then number two, um, you, you've got to be here and show up and show that you want to, you want that spot. And that's part of that's just showing up for everything. Um, so um, on here, it says, where will my kids go? Well, after we determine lineups, then it's pretty simple. Your, your varsity kids will go to the varsity meets. And um, if we have a all meet where it's a conference, usually we take everybody. Um, as we know, the problem with some of our conference meets, not all the teams are very strong and not all of them have large lineups or a lot of JV kids. So there's a lot of times when we have as many JV kids as we do, um, we may go and and struggle to get get kids JV matches. That's why you've seen more of the Monday night meets. We're trying to make sure that kids get matches. And so we've gone to some of those where it's more of a tournament and there's a lot of teams coming. And and so the kids can get there and get matches and not uh, not go to a meet and watch like to do a lot of our conference stuff if, if the teams don't have uh, the JV kids. So um, wrestling meet attire, I just, no ragtag stuff, no, you know, nothing that uh, you wouldn't wear to school, you know, or getting, you know, we don't want anything where it's derogatory in any nature, whatever else. Osage gear is great. We're Osage wrestling gear and we'll all get along pretty good. We don't have any issues. Um, you know, parents, if you have questions of me, um, please get a hold of me. Um, I would rather hear directly from you. Um, I know, I know, you know, sometimes. Um, there's going to be disagreements on how things were done or how to do things. Just know that we as a staff and myself, we're doing the best we can and trying to make the best decision uh, for the team and for all the kids. Um, and, and we do the best we can to do that. You're not always going to agree with everything we do, but, but um, you know, we're, we're trying to do the best we can for everybody's kid that's on the, in the program. So, um, I'm going to look to my assistant here. Am I missing anything? I think we got everything. So on the meals, um, we'll send out the documentation with all this. So you should have all that. If something doesn't look right, let us know. Um, just know that if your event gets canceled from snow or ice or whatever else or gets postponed, if it's postponed, you'll probably just move forward um, to where the event got postponed to. If it gets canceled, we may slide you forward into a different event. We may add an event down the road to fill the spot of that if it, it drops out of our schedule. And so we may assign you again a different event. Know that we provide the water for all that stuff. Um, this year, I don't think we're going to provide the boost. So if that's something you want to throw in the mix for to, to take, I know kids do like it. Maybe not everybody, but most of them do like it. It's, it's gotten to the point, though, with uh, 70 kids out. If I do the math, I think I was going to spend... Um, almost three thousand dollars on boost. I don't think we wanted to do that um, with with our money at this point. It stretches it a little too thin. So um, that's it. So thank you for everything and your support and supporting your kids and getting them here. It's important that they're here. Um, you know, we're trying to teach a lot more things than just wrestling, in my opinion. And and um, you know, we, we got some great kids. We really do in the school and in this program. We've got some great kids. Um, overall, the, they're they're very uh, very respectful, very good kids. Um, so be proud of yourself, and I'm I'm proud to be from Osage and coaching and and uh, my staff. Like I've said before, is is awesome. There are a bunch of great great people that are here, and we're all pointed in the same direction, want the same things, and and support them and. Let them know you appreciate their efforts because because they are good people that are doing the right things for for kids. So uh, that's all I got. Got any questions? Please get a hold of me again. B Jennings at Osage K twelve I U S. You already got some emails from me. Um, cell phone number six four one three three zero four one nine six. Prefer emails over text messages, but I'll take either. And then uh, I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner with any any questions so sounds good um, other updates stay on Facebook uh, Osage wrestling Facebook page um, we'll try to keep updates if anything changes whatever else that way too so thank you very much